Hi there Scorpios, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at October 13 through October 19. And this is going to be a much calmer week than we had last week when of course we were all under the spell of that amazing full moon lunar eclipse on Tuesday and Wednesday of last week in Aries. Your sixth house of hard work, service to others, health and well-being. If you feel, feel like you were in trouble from a family member because you hadn't been helping out enough or if you felt that at work someone expected a bit too much of you, it really came to air. You really felt it and you really knew what other people were thinking just instinctively. And now, however, that is slowing down, calming down and we've got a much calmer week this week. The main thing that's happening that really concerns you is the Cancer Moon on Tuesday squaring off with Uranus in Aries, setting off another battle between the past and the future. Now Uranus in Aries is in your 10th house of career and reputation. So if someone at work, for example, smears your reputation or says something that is could set off a, alarm signals for your boss or superiors or damages your reputation in any way, even with a joke, even with a chain email, even with something like that, you're probably going to take more from it than you should. And, you know, the last thing you need to do with Mercury out of phase right now is to get into a heated battle with somebody because no one will come out on top. It'll just keep going and going and going. The best thing to do, Scorpios, is just ignore it because it doesn't say much for them that they're resorting to this kind of behavior to try and bring you down because you know full well that nobody can bring you down, that you have inner strength that not one other sign has. That's what the main thing about being a Scorpio is. I think of Scorpios like Hillary Rodham Clinton and Scorpios like Leonardo DiCaprio and people, Martin Scorsese, you know, they know how to keep out of the limelight. They're good at their job and they don't care what anybody has to say. Bill Gates is a Scorpio, you know, and I mean, You'd never know by looking at him that he's one of the richest men in the world. But he has uh, that Scorpio calmness and that Scorpio inner strength that growing up he was the biggest nerd in the world. But hey, look how, look how he turned out. So I really want you to draw on that and make sure that you are focused and disciplined and organize for any kind of backlash to come. And it could be for someone that you work with in the past and are hoping to work for again and you'll realize that's not going to be possible. So there's a lot brewing in that 10th house and then on Saturday October 18 the Leo moon gets into a conflict with Saturn which is in your sign. If you find yourself up against an immovable brick wall the best thing to do Scorpios is accept the inevitable and quit while you're ahead and while it's not easy for you to quit you're not a quitter Let's just say you decide to just walk away from it rather than quit. Have a great week, great speaking to you, and I'll speak to you again next week.